Following some research, I thought I would provide a brief synopsis on the Sanhedrin. The Sanhedrin was an ancient Jewish court of law. It was around during the time of Solomon's temple, the first temple. In addition, the great Sanhedrin was a supreme religious body. And located in every town were smaller Sanhedrins in Israel and existed until the rabbinic Patriarchate was abolished around 425 AD. A religious assembly of 71 sages formed the great Sanhedrin, as described by the Tanaitic, which were written rabbinic works from around 10 to 220 AD. Sages were known wise men. They assembled in the chamber of hewn stones within the temple in Jerusalem. They congregated daily except on the Sabbath or during festivals. The great Sanhedrin was the authority on Jewish law and if a scholar challenged final decisions, they were put to death as considered rebellious. Nasi, meaning prince, was the president of the Sanhedrin and the vice president was known as Av Bet Din, meaning father of the court. The other 69 sages sat in a semicircle facing the leaders. Those accused lawbreakers were judged by the Sanhedrin, although arrests could not be actioned by them. At least two witnesses were needed to convict a suspect. Witnesses provided their account in front of the accused, and the accused could also call on witnesses in his defence. The court questioned all parties involved. The great Sanhedrin concerned themselves with matters relating to the temple, both religious and ritualistic. In addition, Torah scrolls for the king and temple, calendar preparation and solving issues relating to ritual law, as well as crime relating to the court not bound by religious rule. Trials involved women found in adultery, tithing, and proceedings relating to the discovery of a corpse. Around 30 AD, the Great Sanhedrin could no longer impose capital punishment due to the destruction of the temple. Although, under the authority of Rabban Gamliel, a Sanhedrin in Yavne replaced its functions, whose rabbis performed duties as judges and taught students their oral traditions and scriptural interpretations. The Sanhedrin moved on to various cities in Galilee, ending up in Tiberias. Depending on the breach of law, local Sanhedrins had varying numbers of sages. For example, a high priest, false prophet, and a whole tribe could only be judged by a Sanhedrin of 71. Sanhedrins of 23 sages were used for capital cases, and as little as three scholars in civil or minor criminal cases. For further research on this subject, please see the link in the description section. God bless.